It's Jeff Greenberg with what I hope is a killer tip. I want to use a piece of software called Media Info to look inside media files and tell me the information and particularly the codec of that media file. Now, in the past, people used tools like QuickTime, QuickTime 7 Player, uh, VLC to determine what kind of media they had, what kind of compression they had. And Media Info, uh, you can find it at mediaarea.net, Media Info. You can also find it on the App Store. You can find it also in the Windows Store. This is a downloadable piece of software. It's open source, meaning that uh, they publish the project in its entirety. It happens to be available for all these different operating systems. And through the stores, they charge a little bit. But for example, here, when I go to the Mac app version, I can choose an older version. The GUI may not be as clean, but it happens to be free. The ones through the stores usually have a small fee. I think it's like a dollar or two dollars. Now, the easiest way to think about this stuff is it's a bucket and liquid. So you have a container, say .mov, and inside of it is a compressed piece of video. That's a codec, CO for compression, DEC for decompression. Containers and codecs sort of can work like this. You can have different containers, QuickTime, MPEG-4, AVI, but the actual compressed file could be the same thing in each of them. In this case, H.264, otherwise known as Advanced Video Coding or AVC. I just want to give you a couple common containers and codecs and just know that some of the containers can hold lots of codecs and some of the containers can only hold a few. MPEG-4 we see all the time. That's say .mp4. And it could certainly be an AVC and H.264 file. We might get an MP4 file that contains HAVC, that's high efficiency video coding. That would be an H.265 file. We might get an M4V. This is typically an Apple version of MPEG-4. Could be an AVC file again, an H.264. We might encounter an MKV file, and it could have H.264, H.265 in it. We might get a QuickTime file, and it could certainly have AVC, it could certainly have HVAC could also have ProRes in it. A couple other formats live in there too. You can encounter the MXF container. That's material exchange format. And you might encounter ProRes or AVC or DNX HR or DNX HD. That's an avid professional codec. And you certainly could encounter AVI files with AVC files inside of it, H264 media. So you can see what this is like. Here's media info. Here's a bunch of files, and all I'm going to do here is grab one and drag and drop. And you can see the video stream right here is AVC. This is an MPEG-4 file. I'll take this pickup 4. Its video stream is VC3. That must be Avid's DNX codec. Here I have another MP4. There is that HVEC. Here I have an MXF file. This one happens to be an AVC file, AVC codec. I have an AVI file. Now, it happens to have a video stream JPEG. If you type into Google JPEG video codec, if you encounter something you're not expecting, you haven't seen here. Last one, here is a ProRes video codec. This is the basic version of Media Info's info screen. Up top here, you have other choices. This is a much more comprehensive view. This is known as tree. I tend to work with easy or tree and ignore everything else, but those other choices are there. So I could see, for example, how this was encoded. It happens to be ProRes, what its bit rate or data rate is, what its frame rate mode is, constant or variable, and what its actual frame rate along with what kind of color format this is. This happens to be BT2020, that's HDR. If I take one of these other files, you'll see something like 709, that's SDR, that's standard dynamic range, that's typical television. So that's Media Info. It's a free tool to help you decode your media files. It's of course worth paying them through the App Store for just a dollar or two.
Again, I'm Jeff Greenberg. I'm Film Geek on all your favorite social networks. Hope you found this useful and let me know directly if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.